Welcome to the world of Beyblade, Bay fans. How's it going? All right. So, as you can see, what have we got here? Can you see it now? Can you see it now? No, you can't. Yes, you can. So, we got the new Excalibur B200 with the sword performance tip and and it has a new sword launcher. I even got the first sword launcher. But, but, it's got a new sword launcher. So, we're gonna get this bad boy open in a minute. Hey, <laughs> so, obviously, we've got some cool little things up there. All these like graphics on there, they make them so cool. This man. is the back. So, we've got Excalibur with the uh, the core. We've got the x void uh blade we got the one armor we got the x um disc so that's a new disc we get a new disc finally when we get blades like base blades when we get they're called blades as well especially in the original series but when we get base um they always come with new base but they always come with like the same disc from a previous bay blade like when we got uh the phoenix that came with a disc from previous bay blade it's like, why not give it a new disc? So I'm glad, I'm glad we got a new disc. But, but they didn't give us a new driver for Excalibur. Still gave us a sword driver. Now, don't get me wrong. A sword driver is absolutely incredible, okay? Um, it ain't really got stamina, obviously, because it's an attacking driver. And attacking drivers don't really have stamina. I think a few do have, like, good stamina uh, for an attacking Beyblade. But the rest are poor. Um, but it's a dash version, so that's pretty awesome. Um, we get a dash version, obviously, and a sword launcher. The only thing with the sword launcher is that it's got a rip cord, and I have a bad hand. So using rip cords with my bad hand um, is not the best option for me. But I will probably try and use this as much as I can. Um, other than that, I will be using my string launchers because they're a lot easier for me uh, with my hand. Um, so that's why I use my string launcher. So they should really bring out a sword launcher, which is a string launcher as well, because that would be absolutely incredible. It looks like we have the cool gimmick here. So it's uh, an attack in here and then, oh, hold on. Yeah, so when the sword comes out, it's balanced, really? So it's an attacking Beyblade, yeah? Until the saw comes out. Once the saw comes out, look, then it's a balanced Beyblade. Yo, that's crazy. Because, like, balance is red, isn't it? So that's that's crazy. Or is that just, like, I don't know. Like, gives it more power. I can't read Japanese, so, you know. Um, and we've got, like, two things here. I'm guessing it's, like, a, a burst lock on there or something. I can't read all this, so, like, yeah. I need, I need like, an app where I can just take a picture of it and then it automatically reads it for me on my phone. That would be absolutely incredible. All right, we're going to get this open now and get the parts right, out. Guys, so this is the Beyblade. Before we do that, let's have a look at the launcher. So this launcher looks absolutely nice, to be honest with you. The colour is absolutely amazing. The nice redness there. I actually think that the red is better than the Spriggan one, to be honest with you. So this will look cool with the stickers on. Um, because I believe the stickers aren't this X here. I'm hoping so anyway. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'll just have to paint it blue. <laughs> I'll just have to paint that blue. Uh, get some plastic paint. I think I've got some somewhere. And paint that blue. And that way the X will be blue. And that will be awesome. Um, and the grip actually feels nice. Uh, the grip does feel nice for a launcher. Um, it does real feel cool. Uh, you won't need an actual an extended grip for that. Um, I'm putting this in without the handle. I like how the handles come off now. Like that's absolutely pretty cool. So let's put that on. Looking pretty sweet. So we got. Uh, ah, okay, okay. So this is a power launcher. So this is going to be even more powerful. It's like the gold one we got with the triple set. Uh, with the phoenix in and basically this is going to be a lot more stronger 
but you can't um, change it upside down like you would with uh, these ones um, because they got the holes here. So all you do, uh, this will be the right mode. Right mode is normally there, so that is strange. Um, oh, I'm putting it in there, and there's no hole in there. That's crazy. And you put it in here. So there we go, right? Well, that's weird. So look at that. Looking sweet. Hold on, let me let me bring you guys. I see a little bit more better now, can't you guys? That crazy, bro. Crazy, incredible, right there. So that's the left. That's the right. All right. Now let's put this on. I think you might need that out. I'm not 100 sure, but let's see if we can put this on. There we go. So you can color change this as well. Um, so you can uh, color change this. You can color change the top. Believe so anyway, uh, and you can definitely color change the bottom. You can definitely color change the bottom because it just comes off, right? Um, but I think you can change the top. I'm not 100 sure if you can, but I think you can. You should be able to. Um, if you can't, you can't because that's a nice color anyway. But I would prefer to change this color up uh, into something better, maybe a blue like that. I think that would be pretty cool. So with the launcher, the launcher like you just seen is absolutely cool um obviously it hurts my hand when i rip like this it does hurt my hand a lot because it's putting more pressure on my hand because it's coming outwards um whereas the string launcher yeah it comes outwards as well because it's a string but it don't like it just go boom boom goes back in with ease uh, and it's very light whereas this rip cord pulling out won't be light it'll be heavy on my hand so that's like that's why i don't use rip cords um, but yeah, it's a good firm grip. Um, some people hold it like this, which I don't know why. Probably because they think they've got big hands and it's going to hit the rip cord. But it ain't. I've got big hands and my hands are perfect size for that look. And that they and it, the blade just went. And yeah, it's, it's perfect, man. I like that launcher, man. I really like that launcher. It's an incredible launcher. I am going to try and use this in a few battles. Uh, I am going to try and use this in a few battles. So let's have a look then at this Beyblade. Looks weird because it's not level. Like that's that's straight, but then the X is like it's like crooked. That's weird. I don't like things crooked really. Look here, guys. Look here. It's coming out. Woo! So I believe so. If I put this in, yo, that 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 looks great though, guys. That looks great, man. That looks fantastic. Absolutely looks incredible. Yo, that is a little bit tight right there. So, as you can see now, it's not coming out, right? Okay, nothing's coming out. It's stopping it with the discs there, right? You can see the discs bit there, the prongs. That's stopping the sword from actually coming out. But then once it attacks its opponents, yeah, and it starts to burst, so one click, is it one click? Yeah, it's two clicks, two clicks, right? And then that's when the sword will then come out and that's when it will be more powerful. Um, and then your opponents will be running crying. <laughs> um, and then obviously then another click, third click, and it bursts on a third click. So that, that's pretty cool, right? So, you know, it's got basically a burst locker, not a burst locker, but like a sword locker, I'd say. Um, and yeah, it stops the sword from coming out. Um, so obviously, like people will think, yeah, we're gonna beat you, blah blah blah. And then two clicks, bam, bam. Oh my god, you're bursting! No, my sword's coming out. Bam! Attacks you directly, bro. And you're just there with your Beyblade being bursted. That's incredible. Look at that. It actually spins nice by hand as well. That's beautiful, bro. Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. We're not going to put the stickers on right now. They will be on later on. Um, I don't want to rush putting the stickers on. Um, I want to make sure they're perfect. I'll try to get them perfect. Anyway, I'm not the best at stickers. You can see with this one. Uh, this one here. Like some are on okay, but then some just keeps coming up like that. And they just won't stick down. Um, yeah. I'm not the best with stickers. <laughs> right. So, basically, this is absolutely incredible. I can't tell you much more about it because, like, it's just an incredible Beyblade. You know the main points of this. 
Um, there were a few other things that I did want to show you on this. I did want to weigh it, but I'm not going to be able to right now. Um, but I will be weighing it on my Instagram anyway for you guys. So you can go over to my Instagram and check it out. And I will do a video to weigh it on a, a short on YouTube as well. I'll do a YouTube shorts as well. Um, that will be incredible. We're not going to test it out in this video. We're not going to battle it in this video. That will be another video. Uh, but yeah, this video has been amazing. We've got to see this beautiful Beyblade right here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been an amazing video, guys. This was Excalibur, the uh, X foil. I can't, I can't pronounce it. Um, but yeah, this is Excalibur. Amazing video. Uh, amazing Beyblade. Can't wait to see what it's like in the stadium. Can't wait to see if it dominates over other Beyblades. And we'll see you in another video. Hope you did really enjoy this uh, video, guys. You know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to keep it spinning. And we'll see you in another video.